In this demonstration, you'll learn how to capture machine information and utilize the ANSYS licensing portal to manage remote licensing for student teams. Once your student team has been sponsored by ANSYS, the student lead will receive an email indicating the licensing entitlements have been released. This email will include a link to sign into the ANSYS licensing portal, which can be used to generate and manage license files. Initially, only the student lead will be able to sign into the licensing portal. The entitlement email also includes the customer ID or account number, which will be needed during the account registration process. After clicking on the licensing portal link in the email, your browser will open a page to sign up or sign into the portal. When signing up for or signing into the licensing portal, remember to use the same email address the entitlement email was sent to and use the customer ID or account number mentioned in the email. With remote licensing, each PC will act as a license server. The client applications running on that PC will point to itself for licensing. Each PC will have a separate license key that will need to be generated and downloaded from the licensing portal. In this example using five PCs, five license keys will need to be generated in the licensing portal using the individual host information for each of the five PCs. This will result in five separate license keys to be downloaded for the respective PCs. To generate a license key in the licensing portal, you'll first need to capture license server information. This uses a utility to collect identifying information about the PC. First, in a web browser, navigate to the Capture License Server Information page on the ANSYS website using the link provided in the video description. On that page, download the utility for your respective platform by clicking the link. Then, navigate to the folder where the zip file was downloaded. Right-click on the zip file and choose Extract All to unzip the file. Repeat until all zip files have been unzipped. In the unzipped folder, double-click on the ANTS Reg Server application to open it. When the application opens, you do not need to fill out any of the fields. Click OK and then click Create File. In the Save As dialog box, give the .info file a memorable name, such as the computer name or student name, and click Save. Repeat this process on all other PCs and collect all the .info files. After all the .info files have been collected, it is time to activate the entitlements for each license server. In the Licensing Portal, click Activate Entitlements from the menu on the left. If the Add New Host dialog doesn't automatically appear, click Add Server. Manually enter the host information in the fields, or choose Upload from License and select the .info file for the license server. In this first example, we'll use JSON's file, then choose Save. If the licensing portal fails to capture the host name and host ID automatically, open the .info file with Notepad and copy and paste the highlighted information. Let's assume that Jason wants to use ANSYS structural, fluids, and material analysis products for his design work. In this case, we will activate two entitlements, ANSYS Academic Research Mechanical and CFD, and Academic Granter Research Selector. These entitlements will give him access to the required products. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the drop-down to add remove products. We'll uncheck Select All. And for Jason, we'll check the boxes for ANSYS Academic Research Mechanical and CFD and ANSYS Granta Research Selector. Then at the top of the page, choose Save and Generate. And then click OK to confirm your selections. The license file is then generated and automatically downloaded by your browser. This license key is specific to Jason's computer. To prevent confusion when sharing these license keys with students on your team, let's rename the license key to Jason License. This will make it easier to identify and share the license key with Jason later. To add a second license server, choose Add Server from the top of the page. Enter or upload the host information. We'll choose Patrick for this example. If the licensing portal fails to capture the host name and host ID automatically, open the .info file with Notepad and copy and paste the highlighted information. Let's assume that Patrick needs to use ANSYS Electromagnetics products for his design work. 
In this case, we will activate two entitlements, ANSYS Academic Research EM and ANSYS Academic Research HF. These entitlements will provide him access to the electromagnetics products. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the drop-down to add remove products. We'll uncheck Select All, and for Patrick, we'll check the boxes for ANSYS Academic Research HF and ANSYS Academic Research EM. Choose Save and Generate from the top of the page, and then confirm your selections. Let's rename the second license file to Patrick License, again for easier distribution later on. Repeat this process for all computers and download the license keys for each one. Once you have downloaded the license keys for all the computers, please share the respective license keys with the corresponding student team members in your group. Next, each student should install the ANSYS License Manager and ANSYS products on their computers to get started. For help installing the ANSYS License Manager and adding the license file you just generated, check out Installing ANSYS License Manager 2023 on Windows. The link for the video can be found in the video description below. For help installing ANSYS products, check out Installing ANSYS 2023 releases on Windows. The link for the video can be found in the description below. During installation, make sure the hostname specified matches the license file in PC you are working on. For example, while installing products on Jason's computer, he can open his license file with Notepad and copy the highlighted hostname, and then add it here. This concludes the demonstration on remote licensing for student teams.